Well, YouTube, here we are again another day. Cloudy, crappy weather. Mud everywhere. Can't truck anything. It's too wet to get trucks in and out of the field. So we're the 8920s doing the augering of the corn. And the 1086, yes, is pulling a 470 bushel wagon. Works, works it well, but handles it all right. Running her in the mud, running her a little harder than I usually do, but it needs to be run like that just to clean her out once in a while. Otherwise, everything else is a little slow pace, but we're handling it. If I had about two decent days, I'd be done with corn harvest completely or real damn close that I wouldn't have to be so worried about it, so. Running out of room, truck a few loads, put a few in, truck a few loads, put a few more in. So we're getting to the point I shouldn't have to truck a whole lot more out to get us close, I'm thinking, but so Harvest 17 is coming to the bottom end of it for us. I enjoy everything you folks have said and a few guys that do comment. And my 1086 isn't going anywhere. The other wagon's being pulled by the 171 Kubota tractor. Works pretty good having a tractor on each one. Just park them and somebody else fills them with the cart and then I pick them up and take off. Not too bad doing it that way. It's not the quickest, but it's progress. Take progress any way you can get it, because it could get worse weather-wise. It is freaking muddy, and I don't know if I'm going to get any more tillage work done. It's that muddy. The ground would freeze an inch or two on the top at night. I could do it, because then I get better footing with the tractor. But otherwise, just everything plugs up with mud, and you can't keep things going when they're plugged up with mud, not turning or working. So I don't know what to do there. So we'll see what we can figure out, and hope we get a better weather shot. But otherwise, I don't see that as being a real promising deal right now. But, that's about all that's going on here. Corn harvest rules on as usual, so any other comments or questions, shoot them at me. Pretty comfortable in this tractor watching, so. Let you see that for a few minutes. I'd rather raise corn or soybeans than mulch hay. I think it's a bigger return on investment. Problem with hay is you need dry weather to do it. Any kind of hay, mulch hay. You need decent dry weather to do it and I don't see much of that anymore. We had about two months of dry weather and you bite off more acres than you can chew. Weather turns into a factor. It also equates to not having enough equipment or bodies to do it usually. It takes a certain amount of people to do a certain amount of work. The, f the figures are with corn, if it takes you two days to plant, it takes you two weeks to harvest it usually. That's been my best figure ratio. I can't substantiate it and say it's true, but it's just the best guess for it. The amount we're growing yield wise, it's pretty good, so. Another decent, decent day, so we'll just keep plugging away at it. You're watching the Westfield Wheat Hard Auger here, so. This tractor just kind of motors on it. Running about 1500 RPMs. My sprayer monitor in this one. Headset in front of switch. This is the switch, all that good stuff. Pretty clean tractor for a 3,000 hour tractor. Does everything we need to. Plants corn, runs a cart, sprays, does about anything and everything, so. Oh, my wagon 
should be out of corn here in another minute or so. Stuff flows easy. Which is a good thing. It's just about empty. Sorry for the shaking wobble there. This thing does that terribly. Run down the road. It scoots. Wind it up.
I can kill it. Oh, not quite. Go, don't sit there and wait for me. God damn it. Take my time going across here because it's rough. He's got himself in this habit of think, thinks he has to wait. Well, that's about it for now. Anything else, let me know.